Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make you guys a baking video today. I'm not necessarily an expert baker. In fact, I kind of suck at cooking, but it's almost Christmas, so I wanted to make some chocolate chip cookies, and I wanted to try the world's best chocolate chip cookie recipe. I went online and I found a recipe on allrecipes.com that has like five stars with 10,000 ratings. It says best chocolate chip cookies, so it's gotta be good. But I did go through the comments and I found everyone's like tips and tricks and stuff to make the cookies even better. So I've got all of my ingredients here. Let's try them. I also just asked you guys on Instagram to submit any questions that you have so I can answer some questions while I'm attempting to bake these cookies. First, we gotta preheat the oven to 350. Okay, so I've got my mixer here, and the first thing we're gonna do is throw in one cup of butter, softened. Like that. <laughs> then we're gonna do a cup of white sugar. One cup of packed brown sugar. These are not at all healthy cookies. These are just the fun holiday cookies. Okay, and it just says to beat this until smooth. Okay, you guys, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong, but it's not going too smooth. It still looks a little chunky, but I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm sure it'll get a little bit better. So the next step is to add two eggs. While I mix this together, I'm gonna answer a question or two that you guys sent me on Instagram. So you guys asked, What's your favorite color? My favorite color is either white or light pink. When did you start modeling? So I started modeling when I was 15 years old. Uh, I started here in Houston, and I was working part-time while I was in school, and then in the summers I'd go full-time and work in Europe, and then I did LA, I did New York, and I ended up moving to Los Angeles. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. It costed like $20 to get all of these ingredients, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Dissolve baking soda in hot water and add it to the batter along with salt. Baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. Wait, it said to dissolve it in hot water. In hot water. I don't know how much hot water. I'm gonna assume a little bit. Okay, we've got our baking soda dissolved in hot water. Like the true professional that I am. Is it supposed to stick to the bottom of the cup? One half teaspoon of salt. Okay, next step is three cups of all-purpose flour. This is where I changed it up and I got the whole grain oat flour because I saw some comments on the recipe saying that this made it the bomb. So we're gonna try this out because I haven't done it before. Shit. Great. I remember in school they would tell you, <laughs> that's doing it wrong, to spoon out the flour because that puts air in between that it doesn't compact so that you don't put too much flour. So I don't know how legit that is, but we're trying to make the world's best chocolate chip cookies. So that's what we're gonna do too. <laughs> I don't know how people on cooking shows do it. It's really hard to not make that. There, okay. <laughs> Three cups of, wait, I wonder if you're supposed to gradually mix this in. Don't they usually say gradually? No, it just says stir it in. So we're gonna start stirring. <laughs> Does it look good? Mm-hmm. This is my workout for the week. So while I'm stirring the dough together, my mom is gonna ask me some questions. It's Khalid Farron's question. Oh, celebrity very crush. Very important. Uh, Sophia Vergara. She's a celebrity crush. Oh, mom, who are my celebrity crush? Miranda Kerr. Cindy Crawford for sure, like all the supermodels of the 90s. Adriana Lima. Adriana Lima for sure. 
Did you have any surgeries? That's Marta Duenas. Marta Duenas. No, I have not had any surgeries. I've never had any cosmetic procedures. I've never had any fillers or injections or Botox or anything like that. I'm totally not against it, but I'm too scared to do it myself. And Monsieur Bradley says, why are you such a baddie and has a jokey, happy face? <laughs> I got it from my mama. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mom, what's a baddie? I don't know. What, what does that mean? I do not mean? know. Do you have a recipe for your favorite dish by Rail Dog? Do I? Well, You'll this, have to this watch may be the it. video to find out. What can't you leave the house without? Asks Warrenis. Warren niece. I can't leave the house without my cell phone for sure. Obviously, that's part of my work. And then I can't leave without my lip liner. And it's probably the main two things, honestly. Uh, a water bottle. Polito Mapache. I'm Lita. sure my mom is pronouncing. <laughs> I apologize for my mom butchering her name. Okay. Right now. <laughs> Just saying, Kara, I love you from Chile. I love you too, Chile. I've never been, but I want to go. We're done stirring. Next step on all recipes is. Chocolate chip. Yay! My favorite part. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're doing it. It says two cups of semi sweet chocolate chips, which is this full bag, but. I got two bags because we're making the world's best chocolate chip cookies. We're not making average chocolate chip cookies, so we want the most chocolate chips. Do I have chocolate chip cookie on my face? No. Not here? No. Lots of glittery shine there. Oh. Glittery shine. Alright, Dr. Justin asks, does being a model make you more confident or insecure? Uh, I would say a little bit of both because there's definitely times when you're on set like I love so many of like the hair and makeup artists and photographers and we're all such great friends that we all kind of boost everyone up and we all build each other up and it definitely makes me feel confident when I'm on set with a team like that but then there are those times when you know you're comparing yourself to others or you go to a casting and they're talking about your body or your face or whatever little things it is things that you would never think about or notice about yourself they might point out like I had an agent one time mention that he didn't like my nose or that he didn't like my shoulders and it was things I had never thought about or looked at, you know, on myself before and so it does a little bit of both but you just have to have like tough skin and a positive attitude to make it through that. And then Brian Corwin asks, what do you dislike about the modeling industry and what is your favorite part? My favorite part about the modeling industry is getting to work with like all the creative amazing people that I get to work with like I feel so lucky because I get to make so many amazing friends through modeling and definitely like the traveling and the places that I get to go and um, just like experiencing different places and cultures and people then my least favorite part about modeling hmm, it's probably just one that I'm away from my family a lot so yeah I'm happy I'm home right now okay, my least favorite part about modeling is just yeah like the criticism that goes along with it and you know, you hear sometimes you go through a lot of no's before you get a yes, but otherwise I feel really lucky to have this career. They feel really like, not like dough. Is that how they're supposed to be? They look awfully sticky. The water may have made them a little pasty. Mom, quit judging my cookies. Hmm. No one needs to Oh, more flour. We're experimenting now. That was a lot of flour. Should I put that much? I don't know. It's going to be fine. You'll be the cookie expert. With your bedroom slippers on down there. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with my bedroom slippers? <laughs> um, let's see. What hotel are those from again? Meridian. I don't remember when or where I got these, but I always steal hotel bedroom slippers. Okay, here we go. I hope that it's on an ungreased cookie sheet. It still doesn't really feel like cookie dough, but let's try. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mom, they look good. I'm rooting for these cookies. I'm rooting for them because this is the world's best cookie video. <laughs> this is a tutorial for the people to help them. Okay, you guys, I've got my cookies. 
cookies scooped out in spoonfuls. They look a little funny, but we're gonna pop these babies in the oven and see what happens. Okay guys, I just cleaned up and, and the cookies are in the oven. I'm really anxious to see how they're gonna turn out. If you can't tell, I'm not the cleanest, most organized chef ever, but I've got high hopes for them. So while I'm waiting for the cookies to bake, I'm gonna answer a few more questions. Have you thought about dedicating yourself more to YouTube? Of course I have and that's why I'm making this video because this entire holiday I've been at home in Texas and I'm thinking, you know, what else can I do for YouTube? I wanna do something holiday related. So that's why we're trying the cookies today and I'm just, I'm definitely gonna try to do a few more videos while I'm home and try to become more consistent with it because I do like talking with you guys and I feel more like we're hanging out on YouTube. What is your biggest inspiration and what is your ultimate goal in life? So my ultimate goal in life is always happiness and joy and just living my best life and what fulfills me the most while still helping and inspiring others. My biggest inspiration is, it's hard to name one thing that's my biggest inspiration. Like every year I make goals lists and I check off the ones that I achieve and I make mood boards and vision boards. So I just try to constantly inspire myself and it's it kind of different things. Inspiration comes from... I don't know, places that I go, places that I travel, people that I meet. It comes from different places and just setting my own goals and like aspiring to achieve them. What is your biggest insecurity and what are you most confident about? Um, Talking on camera used to be a little bit of an insecurity for me, but I'm getting better at it. And I would just say, you know, with modeling, it's always something different that people are judging you for that makes me insecure. So. Sometimes it's my height. I've had different jobs where, you know, I've had to stand on a platform because the other models are six foot two and, you know, it just kind of just depends. So I've definitely had jobs where that's an insecurity. I'm 5'8", I'm not six foot tall like some models. And then what I'm most confident about is my cookies. <laughs> Let's see how they turn out. <laughs> Why are you dying of Terrible. laughter? <laughs> oh, they look bad. And they... Kind of. Not They're not too pretty, but don't underestimate them. Let's see how they turn out. Okay, you guys, time for a taste test, and I have a little confession to make. Midway through, I realized it didn't say to do all three cups of oat flour. The person's tip was to replace the three cups of flour with one and a half cups of oat flour. So... It looks a little funny, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna try it. It doesn't really pick up as a whole cookie, it kind of just breaks apart <laughs> like that. Well, let's see. <laughs> it's not the worst cookie I've ever tasted. It's definitely better than like Chips Ahoy or a store-bought cookie but I would not call it the world's best cookie either. But it's not bad. So, if you guys want my recipe, <laughs> link it down below. I'll put the proper recipe. Don't get creative. Don't read the comment section because last year when I made these cookies, they were so freaking good. And this year, I got creative. I listened to the comments. I did mess it up and they're not as good. Okay, you guys, I'm redoing my cookies since they completely screwed up, and this time I'm doing the all-purpose flour like the recipe suggested, like I did last year when they were so amazing instead of getting creative and trying the oat flour, and already the consistency is so much better. So for anyone who doubted me, this is my redemption. I'm ready to put these babies on the pan and stick them in the oven. I spaced them out a little bit further apart since last time they all smushed together. Yay, these look so much better. T, is your mouth watering? Are you excited for the cookies? Okay, here we go. Ooh, it came out perfect. Oh my gosh, you can actually hold it up like an actual cookie. So now it's time for the taste test. It's honestly so, so good. Might be the best cookie in the world. Mm, let me try one. <laughs> <Don't drop it. laughs> 
one too. <laughs> it is really good though. Yay! Practice makes perfect. And even if you suck at cooking like me, you too can make the world's best cookies. I need coffee milk now.